Now, right, Jennifer wanted me to do this video. This I don't, today is Thursday, or something the sixth or seventh or whatever day it is. We got back from the hospital last night, and we had um, two chickens that are broody. They're sitting on top of each other in the in the in the little egg box. Um, let me plug this unit. I had to run an extension cord to get all the way from way down there by that door all the way up here because um, that little solar unit was doing the job but man we got that fox bugging us and uh it's getting our chickens but look at this the fence fence wire electric fence i put up it was just like three or four wires i think up to that top orange one or that skinny uh that wire right there i think i had three or four wires there anyways i had just three and i add the fourth one I don't remember now hey, whatever anyway i think i had a three or four but anyways i got them all the way up high now all the way around and i got that electric fence net stuff there i think it's a electro net or whatever they call it and uh so it goes all the way around i had to do something just because that stupid fox was i don't know if it's jumping over or not i don't think it was because uh, we never saw any feathers inside the um, coop or the, the fenced in area that they've run around in and uh um, so i think he was nabbing them or she whatever was nabbing the chickens and they get close enough and then freaking them out and then other ones would freak out and jump and then he'd have a chance of nabbing another one and i gotta pull some of these let the gate handles off so i can climb over the fence because it stands it's about i mean it's four four foot high or so and you got the low, low ones pretty close together so something can't sneak through and I space them out a little bit as I go up so that way things can't really jump through or if they're tall enough they want to sniff around that wire man as soon as they hit that thing man it just it knocks the piss out of them um you guys made a mess why the hell are all your food all over the place you guys must have maybe knocked something loose and shit fell out I don't know how you doing colonel oh sorry I didn't mean to scare you there's colonel Unless something's up here messing with him, get him all freaked out. I swear, if I catch that fox, if I, if I'm around here and a damn thing's close enough, I'm gonna. If I have something in my hand, I'm gonna hit him right in the back of the head, in the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna injure it somehow. Or if I'm lucky, I kill it. I hate to kill the thing just because I think it's got. If it's a girl, I think it's got babies. I don't want to take the mama away from it, but sometimes things happen but now they're separated here's miss sweetie oh yeah big mama she fluffs up like every single feather that she can and then miss betty she fluffs up a little bit not too much she's she's got a two or three of these eggs are oh that's a real egg get, get that egg underneath you these ones with the blue dots are fake, the ceramic eggs. We had to put them in way back when we first started getting chickens and started laying eggs. Wanted them to uh, know where to lay eggs at, so we put those fake eggs in there. Get those eggs underneath them, Mama. She's trying to adjust herself. I think you got too many underneath you. And you we had to move them all underneath one chicken the other day because um one of them wouldn't stay on them she would just kind of walk off and go out here and then she'd be off there for a couple hours probably or maybe more i don't know and then she would uh come back and i was like man you know we, another one would just stay put like she's supposed to there's mr boop and mr screech i like screech he's a cool rooster boop you're pretty cool too no one likes you around here either i every once in a while i get a hold of a girl but they don't stay with me i'll talk to him. There's mr rodeo peeking his head out he's like what are you talking about he's a cool rooster he's a he flips out and gets scared all the time when you get too close to him but that's just his breed the leghorns are just a skittish breed and that's what he's part his mama is prissy he's the white leghorn she's the one that got nabbed here last week almost a week ago it's friday last week she got nabbed and uh 
And uh, that was his mom and his dad's a big white rooster named Colonel over there. And then our reds group right there. There's three hens in there with them. There was four. She was hiding in here. But when, since her eggs should be hatching any time today and going forward, her eggs should start hatching. And she's in there. We put her in there. That's an egg box there. We put her in there yesterday around like 4.30 or 4 o'clock. And uh, we had to block up the door inside there where it goes to a little fenced in area inside that little bitty coop. Hi, Miss Jubilee. You're such a cool rooster, Mr. Colonel. Oh, we had them locked up and like the fence, we locked these little cage things up so they stay put there and it protects them from that anything wanting to get them. We did that for a few days and then this morning I laid them out so they can come out. Oh, your back's getting scratched up. You're a little rough, aren't you there, Mr. Uh, Richard? Well, start to freak out there, Mr. Rodeo. Ooh. Watch this. Jump! Whee! Oh. <laughs> there you go. Anyways, we put Luis, I don't know, whatever her name is, the red, one of the red chickens. I get, there's so many red ones, I, hit, I get mixing up their names. Presley, that's her name. Presley's in here. Yeah, that's why I said Presley's in here. Birdie didn't like me saying that real loud, I guess, so he squawked at me. Um, we put her in here, we moved all her eggs over, set her on the eggs, and she, there's also water and food inside here. But she, um, uh, there's a little door inside there, but we got it blocked off. I made a little ramp for her when she gets her baby, she can start walking up the ramp with the little kiddos. But we had to... We had a block up. You can't see inside there. I should have went to the back of this coop. There's a door. But she wouldn't stay put. When we came back from the hospital last night, she was in there. I don't know. She was underneath this thing in the caged area, laying down, taking a nap. I said, we need you. Brody, you freaking loud rooster when you crow. High pitch. But now she's laying on him. We had to put her in here. We came home last night from the hospital. Got her moved. We could not get her for the life of us to... Yeah, she's puffing up a little bit. You're skinny, mama. You need to get them eggs laid so you can get something to eat. But she's got, we moved food and water in there so we can figure when the babies start waking up and, ah, oh, we need to get that. I didn't move some of that water out of there because that dark area of bedding right there is wet. I think she knocked that stupid thing over yesterday while we were gone. But she's laying on her eggs. I don't hear little, I don't think I heard any little pips. Oh man, sweat dripping off my nose. <coughs> Rody would shut up for a minute, I could hear. Don't hear any pips yet. Yeah, I see you, mama. Can I pet you? She pet me, but don't move me. I'm already settled in. Yeah, we had a hard time getting her to set on her eggs just as she was so freaked out because she got moved. We should have done it late in the night. That's so they kind of laid down because then they're a lot calmer. You can pick them up and mess with them like they're they sleep like they're Sometimes they sleep with their eyes open. It seems like they do Man, it's hot out here. Not really hot. It's humid Man, yeah, all the chickens are doing good Got that electric fence all the way set up. I need to mow over there sometime. That's where we're gonna put that big coop that we're building. It's gonna go it's gonna go back over in that fenced in area. This netting that's going across this way is going to be moved. We're gonna take it out, do something else with it. And then Richard, which is the one that just crowed, the red rooster, him and his three girls are gonna go into the big coop that we're building. It's gonna go back in there somewhere, behind, back over there somewhere. And that's his area that he's gonna get. He's got uh, three more girls in the... I'll just show you those. Those babies are getting big too. I'll show you those babies. He's getting three little oh, Easter eggers. I don't know what the hell they're called. They're little fluffy necked ones. Uh, Maracunas. I don't know. There's oh, so many different breeds. I don't know. It's hard to keep track of all of them. 
But that's where, that's where Richard Rich and his group's gonna go. It's gonna, it can hold up to like 20 chickens, this coop that we're building. So we got plenty of room for expansion when the time comes. And then um, the, when we do that move, Streets, Rodeo, and the three girls that they hang out with those guys are gonna move into that tan colored coop back there. That's gonna be their coop. These two little coops that we got right here are gonna be like our, you know, where the mamas go to have their babies, lay on the eggs, raise the babies up. You know, that way they're, so that way they're safe and nothing, you know, no other big chickens can peck them and kill them on accident or on purpose. Um, plus we can use it to introduce our new chicks if we just have hatched, if we just hatch some eggs out of the incubator or buy some chicks that are already grown. We can, once they get big enough, you can, we can put them in this, these cages here. We'll move, we're gonna move the coops around a little bit and they can sit in there they can you know get the other flock of birds can get used to them so when they integrate in with them hopefully they'll they'll accept them and won't try to kill them because that's one thing you got to be careful about you put the a random chicken in with another group they usually want to kill a thing because it's an it's a outsider that kind of thing the garden's doing good. Our potatoes had all these little brown larva, bug, beetle, I think um, it was a potato beetle, I think it's what they called it, a Japanese beetle, something like that. It had its babies all over it, all over these potatoes. And I'd killed a bunch of them with my hand and they were like turning my hand orange because the, cause the crap that was inside of them would make my hand orange. So um, I took, um, oh, seven dust or whatever it is, it's some the same brand. But in a liquid form and hooked up to the water hose and sprayed all of our vegetables and killed all of them so now all the potatoes don't have any of those bugs on them little holes from them eating on them from previous stuff but they're all dead now and gone i did on our lettuce and um spinach and it pretty much all the way down the line our corn's getting big everything's getting big and grown real good <laughs> my nose is running down the back of my throat but our coop's going good Oh, I just need to get it done. So, basically it's almost done. We can't move it the way it is, it's too damn heavy. So we'll have to take it apart into like four or five different chunks, and then reassemble it, move it, and reassemble it up there. So we gotta do the roof. We got all the little uh, mounting things that were the, um, all the, corrugated plastic stuff goes and they go on there vertically like this all the way down so the rain can just run right off so there's gonna be two roofs run there and one up here and it overlap and this is our doors that we got on here we just took a piece of this plywood that kind of over has these little grooves and it can overlap and we got that on there i mean there's some more we need to do to the door but that basically gets the door on there we got the hinges on there for it open it and close it um we got this uh, laminate sticky stuff that you can lay on here like fake tile that you stick on here so that helps when you go to rake and pull out your bedding it slides right out of there pretty easy um this, we pulled this off this is gonna have to come off anyways but that goes up along this front here there's nothing gonna be on there no windows no nothing just a wall we were working on these a boxes i think it was sunday or monday i think it was monday uh, we had the frames on them but we had to uh you know, some, make all the sides, make the roof, make the, put the back door on it. But man, you measure three, four times, you cut it once, you think you have it right, and it's just not quite right. So we had to take this, it's been like four hours on two of these things, some, three hours, whatever it was, it's been a lot of time on there. We had to, you know, notch and gouge the, you know, the wood out um, up here on this thing. Like, and it's heavy, and this, thing, this, this egg box weighs like 30 pounds. So uh, maybe 40 pounds. It's just a, you know, it's all this three quarter inch wood on here. So it's got, got some, you know, it's cumbersome. You got some weight to it. And then you have to wedge it in here and then screw it from the bottom side. Once we have it figured out, had the right size and have it all mounted in here, we'll take them back out, take this thing apart in chunks, move it up there, reassemble it, and then um, that's where we'll sit. We are going to paint this thing eventually, but paint can wait all we got to do is get it assembled and get all the bedding in there so that way the chickens have somewhere to go that's the little door they're going to go in and out at but it's basically doing good um it's taking a while because it's been so hot you can't work on anything during the middle of the day it's too damn hot and humid today's not too bad there's no wind 
Thank you for sleeping. And here's our babies. They're getting big. Oh, good in here. Oh, get out of here, wasp. But there's uh, five babies in there. They're getting big. They're getting antsy. They want to get out of here because they're running out of room. But we got two black astralorps. We got a, uh, two buff orpingtons. And then we got that kind of goldish, brownish one. Uh, she's a Welsh summer. This is what we call our Cheerio gang, our um, cereal gang, because we're going to try to put like some cereal names with them because that Welsh summer, the brown one up there, the rooster version of her is the same rooster that they use for the uh, Kellogg cornflake stuff. So she wanted to name her Kellogg. I said, no, that's the rooster. She's a hen, so no, she doesn't get a boy's name. So we named her uh, Cornflake instead and one of them we think are named cheerio i don't know which one that is, but that's whatever we'll figure out names if we want to name them and then we got these three little darlings they're pretty they're cute birds they all three look very similar but they're all three a little different and i held them here a few days ago and i like them they're cute little birds Ooh. they're getting antsy too but these are the three that are going to go with richard and his group so these will lay, I think, a green colored egg, a light green or something like that. And then all these will lay brown eggs. I think that, um, well, some of that, I don't know if she lays a, a light colored brown egg with little spots on it or what. But I said that she's a, the good egg layers or good birds. They don't get real stout. I mean, they'll get tall, but they're not real thick. They're real kind of lean birds when they start growing up. And then little buff open, little peach colored ones there. Oh, freak out time. They just have, they don't have anywhere to run, so they're, that's what, see, that's what, we need to get that damn coop done so we can get these birds moved, give them some more room to, to grow and move around, but it's getting there. We put, put this divider up here way back when we first got them, because they were like a week behind each other, and, or these were a week older than these ones, and we didn't want them, since they're bigger, to pick on them and kill them by accident or hurt them or whatever, so we divided them. Plus, I'm never going to be in the same coop anyways. But um, there's one in here. I don't know which one is it. I'm trying to see who can be on, the, be on that little roost there that we put up there. They still got the little chip, chip, chip sound from like they're, when they're babies. Occasionally, when you pick one up, they'll squawk like a full going tricking. See, one's got a like a lighter face, one's got a darker face, one's got a, like a white beard, and that, oh, that one in the back is hiding. <laughs> yeah, they're getting antsy. They want to get out. Oh, I almost took it. Now I took a shit. But uh, I don't know which one it is. I think it's the one. Might be either that one or the one on the left's got like a lot of brown orange on its chest. You shit, and I just realized you shit in your food. God, you guys are dumb. I know they won't eat it, of course. I mean, maybe on accident, but. Crazy birds. So all these, this big group of birds here will go with the main flock. So is, this will be part of Colonel's group. And so he'll have, he'll have one, two, three, four, Hell, nine girls with them, so that and so that'll keep them busy. If you know what I mean. I let a lot of eggs from them. They won't be laying eggs for a few months, probably towards the fall. Uh, same with these girls. And uh, so Richard will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven girls as well um, with him. He'll have his three. Well, we also got the uh, leg bars that lay those light blue eggs and we got some um the eggs that the um two girls that are fighting over the brooding box area those two are laying on bantam um uh bantam eggs of some different breeds they're like small breeds you know like miniature chickens almost because old street he's got one little girl with him and she's hangs around with him and loves him and talks to him and he talks to her does a real good job with her 
But the other ones, when he would try to get hold of one of the other chickens, he was, he's so much smaller, physical size wise, he's so much smaller than her, or smaller than the other ones, that when he would try to jump on top of them, he couldn't, you know, he'd fall up or he couldn't get on them or whatever you want to say. So we said, we need to get him some bantam small breed chickens. So we got some uh, breeds, and those will probably be hatched. If everything goes well, we'll probably get between nine and 12 baby chicks out of that batch. I don't know if they're going to be all roosters, all hens, or a mix. Hopefully there's a mix. Um, hopefully they're all hens. That'd be nice. And uh, those are going to be split up with uh, Screech. He might get all of them. Or you know, Screech and Rodeo will, will share them, I guess. Um, they'll split. They'll figure each other out who wants to go where. Oh, yard's looking pretty good. Anyways, Jeff and me make a video seeing, showing everybody what's going on especially with those chickens and the fence and the babies and the broody mamas she calls them um in the garden i guess but all right i'm done with this i'm going inside and cool off <laughs>